Magandang umaga po, Pilipinas. Welcome po to Agri TV, Mad About Koy. My name is Mike Hernandez with... Tressie Hernandez, of course, in Ponce Farm, Las Piñas. So last week, we shared with you how to improve your water quality or how to deal with our warm water temperature. Ngayon po, we will give you some tips kung paano po unang gawin ang inyong koi pond to be able to cope with this fluctuation or how to make your water quality better. Sa umpisa pa lang, how to make a proper koi pond filtration system. We all know that we have very hot summers and then uh, we have really intense rain on rainy days. So it's better prevention then curing it is easier, definitely. So, nagsisimula po to, to construct a good koi pond. Ang yeah, pano, design it first. Design well. it first. Ayusin <laughs> nyo po ng maganda. Ang, ang unang choice dito, Gles, is saan mo ba ilalagay yung koi pond? Pond location is essential. S situated properly to the best that you could. Hanapan nyo ng lugar. Uh, pero kung ang uh, choice nyo ay natataging isa lang, para ilagay inyong koi pond, then there are some ways, many ways to, to deal with the proper pond construction. Yes, usually we put the pond at the lowest part of the land. Property? Yeah, property. Of the backyard? But, it's, you know, like we've encountered, like, even though we would recommend that the owners, the pond builders, would have a preference. So, these are ways that you could do in order to prevent these kind of problems that we were discussing last week in terms of hot summers and rainy days. Kaya nga ang question is location. Yes. Kung isa lang yung location nyo, the next question there, Glass, is ang pond ba ninyo ay below ground or above ground? Dito po sa koi and ponds, mapapansin nyo kung kayo ay mapasyal dito, ang koi pond natin, Glass, is above ground. Yes, it's all elevated. There are many, many advantages in building your koi pond uh, up no? than, than digging down there on, on ground. Many years back, in, uh, when we started Koisin Ponds, 1991, in Paranaque. Yes. So, what, what's the repercussion of having a pond dug in? Well, there's heat conduction from the street. It's mm -hmm. always, the water is always warm. So, there's Itataka no way. Itataka po kami, yung temperature, laging mainit. Uh, no? yeah, Sinid even... na namin, there's, there's less Sunlight. sun going in. Kasi naka, naka, ano na siya, naka-covered yes. na siya. Pero the water still fluctuates. So, one, one another adva advantage ng above ground pond is, hindi ka na magsasampam. Yeah. Pagka ikaw ay nagkaroon ng uh, sump pit doon, Yes. At mas mababa siya kesa sa sewer ng bahay nyo, dapat maglagay ka ng sumpit to pump the water out into the sewer. Mm. If your pond is higher than street level or higher than the sewer, all you have to do, in, in our case dito sa poison ponds, all you have to do is open it. Diretso na siya sa kanal by siya sa pulling kanal. a pipe. Okay, so, so what else, Glass, to para mapaganda pa yung tubig? Of course, the depth. Mm. Kasi like, uh, if it's shallower, a certain, you know, uh, the heat fluctuation. fluctuations is so fast. Mm -hmm. So, it's warm, it gets hot right away. If it's cold, it gets cold right away. So, what's the depth that you usually recommend? So, ako, according to study, yung UV rays ng sun ay tumatagos lang po sa tubig until 90 centimeters. Yes. So, beyond 90 centimeters, yung pong uh, ultraviolet, harmful ultraviolet rays ay hindi na po nag effect sa koi. Obviously, yung pond nyo ay mataas na uh, bacteria ng ano. Bacterial count. Bacterial count ng, ano, uh, ng, uh, ng inyong pond. Another good part na nagagawa po ng malalim na pond is nagkakaroon po ng uh, vertical swim yung koi. Yeah, may good exercise for them. You, when you have good vertical uh, swim ng koi, lumalaki po yung usutsu. This is, in, in, uh, in koi anatomy, we call this usutsu, tung tail end na to. Mm. And then, I remember when we initially built a depth of four feet, this was during the 80s, pinagtatawanan kami, wala namang winter dito, bakit kailangan malalim yung pond? Sinasabi? Y yes, it that, helps yes. to stabilize yung temperature. It also gives the koi the ample uh, Exercise, room to yeah. be able to flip their tail at magkaroon exercise, gumamanda po yung conformation. 
Okay, well, one important tip talaga sa paggawa ng pond, of course, talking about uh, temperature, is uh, it goes without saying, lagyan mo siya ng chiller. Pero it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg. Pero ang dito, ang ginagawa natin para mapababa ang temperature at matanggal pa yung hydrogen sulfide at gumanda yung quality ng tubig. Naglalagay po kami ng Tomigay Shower. And Tomigay Shower is one of the less expensive way of improving your water quality. It does not only degas your water, but it also uh, brings up yung dissolved oxygen. Maraming salamat po, friends, for joining us today. I hope meron po kaming, again, na-share sa inyo kung paano pa mapapaganda ang inyong tubig or how to deal with this very warm temperature na nangyayari sa ating koi pond. But before we go, we'd like to invite you this coming May 31, June 1, and June 2. Once again, magkakaroon po kami ng Koi and Ponds Open House Koi Sale. We'll bring to you beautiful koi, very, very uh, attractive. Attractive. Not only reasonable, attract, attractive prices. Join us sa May 31, June, June 1, 1, and June, June 2. 2. Here at Koi and Ponds Farm, Las Piñas. Maraming salamat po ulit. My name is Mike Hernandez with... Plus Hernandez. Dito lang po yan sa Agri TV. Mad about, about koi. koi. Enjoy koi po. Bye. Bye.